Tyler, good to meet you. A uh, pleasure. Man, your boxing skills, persona, style, the way you moved came through all the way in this film. Awesome. I hope so. <laughs> it did. You know what? There's some stuff you can't teach. Um, the, 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 your, your body style, your, your demeanor says boxer all day. So uh, that helped for me sell, sell the film. And I think the reason why they chose you. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm boxing every day and I'm a, a boxing coach as well. So, uh, I mean, it was right up my alley. I'm going to shut this window because my uh, gardener. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, no, it's funny. I liked it. It's okay. Well, we need a uh, drama. <laughs> so how come in boxing, sometimes it's the guy in the mirror that's more the opponent than the opponent? Say it one more time. Like what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to be uh, like sometimes yeah. like the person in the mirror, like yourself, is actually more of an opponent than the guy you're fighting. Yeah, a hundred percent. Why does that happen? Well, you know, you're, you're battling with your nerves. You're battling with uh, confidence. That's why I think a lot of boxers have this over, uh, you know, exuberant confidence and they have to you know i think that they're doing that to help them along and motivate themselves by being like i'm gonna destroy i'm gonna win but i think that you know there's always that uh that nervousness all the time coming through and the what if and uh that's hard so you know you you in you know the boxer's life you got to try to remain calm and remain focused and make sure you stick to your regimen and, and uh, make sure you're just putting in that work because you can't just show up and, uh, you know, win fights these days because, you know, everyone's hungry and everyone's trying to, uh, trying to get the title. Right. So uh, yeah, your worst enemy sometimes is yourself. You just got to be very positive and try to, you know, keep your eye on the prize. Okay, so back to the film here. Um, Yusiki and you, when you guys are doing the, I know it's choreographed, but I asked them this, this one same question I'm asking you. When you guys accidentally hit each other, and hit each other a little bit more than you want to, does that intensify your acting? Um, well, there's a, there is a lot of shots that we needed to not fake. You know, there's obviously ways to choreograph shots where it looks real. And there's some where we had to sit there and kind of get heated between all of us. Like, okay, well, now's the time you got to take this big shot and there's no way to fake this one. And everyone's kind of like stressed out and there's no way to lightly do it. Um, does it intensify the acting? I mean, it's hard to separate it sometimes because you know you feel like it should be in a controlled environment but then you're getting hit and you just got to take the shot um it definitely makes you feel more it, it, it makes you you know uh makes the acting more real because you're actually being poked by something you know or punched so um masahiro yusuke he took a big shot to the head i took a couple accidental shots because the core choreography if you're both not on uh track uh and you miss a block or something then you can get that upper cup to the chin what which happens and that happened and they're not fun so i mean uh yusuke broke his tooth on that uh, on one of the shots oh wow yeah so he had his mouth guard in but then when he got hit the jolt was so hard that <laughs> so hard uh <laughs> the jolt was so the jolt was so hard that he they knocked your phone down. Tooth. Right, yeah. Sorry about that. No, no. The, the jolt, jolt was so hard that it broke his tooth. Yeah. So, to you, um, what part of the film was the hardest part? Was it the boxing? Was it the the war stuff? Was it the environment or the emotional part of it? As an actor, um, I think, I mean, it was it was all hard work. It was all great work. Um, and fun work more, I should say. So I didn't mind any of it. I think that sometimes when you're doing a little bit more of the emotional parts and you're pulling from like 
things that happen in your life, it could, you know, surface some stuff and it can make you upset. Um, but the physical part, I loved every second of it. And, and I could do that all day. We were doing it 16 hours a day um, on the fight days. And um, I think if anything, you, you know, you're pulling from emotional times to, you know, uh, get those um, emotions to come off. So that could be, you know, mentally difficult, but I didn't mind it. Do you do comedy, Tyler? <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. You're, you're cropping off your head a little bit. You're cropping off your head. Okay. So this film brings together Japanese culture, American culture together. And what does this speak to everyone when they see this, when both of these cultures collide? Um, because it was set in the past um, and it's a period film, I think it like, definitely for me, it, it um, taught me a little bit of, about uh, the history of what happened uh, through the war and also the culture of, uh, um, the Japanese, whether it be the Yakuza or how Japanese hold themselves, especially as fighters like Yusuke did an amazing, amazing job uh, with, you know, showing no fear, even though he might may have had doubts. And I know that's, uh, I learned that's kind of a, a customary trait in uh, Japanese culture. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And to watch that and be involved in it, um, it was it was a big learning experience too. So when we when we had the yakuza involved, I started learning about the yakuza, and uh, it's like super interesting. And to see 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 that without getting to Japan, which I one day want to do, I, I found it quite interesting. So, what's the main message of this film? What's the thing that rings the most true? Um. The main message, well, I think that everyone, you know, it's a it's the tale of two two different people and their stories and how much uh, they can differentiate, uh, and and it's kind of a tricky question, but I think it's it's the story of two people's internal battles. One of them may be. Uh, you know, emotional, one of them may be a strength related. And it's pretty much, uh, you know, you're watching two people prepare for the same thing with uh, both with heavy hearts. And it could be from so many different uh, directions that, uh, you know, why they have the heavy hearts or whatnot. But uh, it's just, everybody's struggle is different, you know, and you could be going towards the same thing, but everyone's struggle is quite different. So um, that's why it's like hard to dislike either characters, right? Um, because you're really rooting for both of them. There's no villain. It, it, it's uh, just the story of two different, um, two different guys going towards the same thing, pretty much. I don't know if I answered that correctly. But. No, it's good. It's a, it's a tough, tricky question. So I just... Yeah. It's part of the test. <laughs> sure. So, uh, how much Clint, how much Clint Sullivan is in you? Is in me? Yeah. Oh, I was worried that because Clint Sullivan is very stoic in a way, and I was reading up on sto uh, uh, stoic. I'm actually propping this up on the Daily Stoic book by Ryan Holiday. Um, it's very stoic, and I I was as I was reading my script and going through it and practicing being Clint, I was at one point, I was like, am I going to go back to being myself after this? Because I actually kind of liked the way that I was thinking it. In, um, you, were becoming stoic. Clint. you were becoming, I was, Clint. I was becoming Clint, but you know, I went through a lot of things uh, prior to the script that I related to the character a lot. So at the same time, I was becoming Clint, but I was actually being myself as well. I found there's a lot of similarities in Tyler Wood that the character Clint had and vice versa. So um, 
I mean, when I got the script, I loved it and I, I related heavily with it. I remember uh, our second meeting with uh, the directors, Adam and Reza, I was finishing up reading a quarter of the script while I was waiting and I would take the script and drop it down and I'd be like kind of baffled because I felt like it, it was myself. It was a movie about myself, kind of. Um, so, uh, yeah. That, that was a great answer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> last, last question. Um, we've sure. all seen Creed, all the Rockies, the fighter. Now that you made a film that has to do with boxing, does it make you think different now how those films were made and how you did it and what you went through? Um, I think it's, uh, well, you're always wondering about the choreography and how it works and, you know, all, like, you know, the fake shots and all that type of stuff. Um, I think it's different from all those movies. I think it's uh, very artistic um, in a way. And it's not, not just about the fight all the time. It's about what happens before the fight and after the fight. And uh, it's not necessarily glamorized, right? So it, it was a different type of boxing film, I think. And uh, Absolutely. Not that I wonder how those ones are made, but because um, I, I have a pretty good imagination <laughs> but uh it's interesting um to see how boxing films how many ways they can be shot differently and how we can keep having movies about boxing um and see it in a different eye each time i think adam and reza kind of um uh, nailed the nail on the head with uh showing it in a different light Cool. Last question, Tyler. So what's, what's next for you? What's your next project coming up? Uh, this is the, I mean, you know, we had a little uh, damper in schedule because of, uh, you know, this uh, pandemic that we're all going through. But um, just uh, I'm, I'm still studying. I'm still watching movies every day. And I got a couple things that are in the works. And we're just waiting for our scripts um, to be completed. But there's a couple things on, on, on the agenda. So hopefully uh, I'll, I'll be back at work um, as soon as uh, things get going again. Cool. Well, you did a masterful job. And it was a uh, tough film to watch, and I enjoyed it. And uh, great talking to you, man. Hey, thank you so much. Welcome. Take care. Cool. Thanks.